uh, here in this problem we have uh, this equation uh, y is equal to x minus 10 and uh, x square plus y square plus 4x six y minus 15. This inter the two lines are intersecting and uh, we will solve uh, we will place this sub subject here in place of y and we will get uh, values of uh, x as a 0 and 5 and by placing it into the subject equation or equation number 1 we will get the value of y. So we have these two values and uh, we have to obtain a uh, length. So, so we will obtain a length. Uh, question number twenty four <coughs> so we have to find this a and the length of line a b so first we will find a and b and then length of a and b So by solving that we have from this equation to this simultaneous equation, we place this value of y here and we will get value of x is equal to this and by substituting these values in this equation we will get the value of y correspondingly. So we have uh, two coordinates 0 and 0 and minus 10 and x 5 and minus 5. So <coughs> this is x1, y1 x2 y2 <coughs> uh, x2 minus x1 uh, y2 minus y1 so this is x2 minus x1 is there uh, y2 minus y1 so y2 minus y1 is here and we take this value and we will obtain we have obtained the length of the line a b is 5 and 1 now problem number 25 uh, a straight line intersect the curve x square minus y is equal to 5 at point a and b given that a lies below the x axis here a, a, the point a the coordinates of a is below the x axis means y is negative and the point p lies on a b such that a to p length of a p and length of p b is, is in the ratio of 3 1 so a p is 3 and p b is 1 find the coordinate of p so we have to solve this equation to a one line equation one curve intersecting at two points and this line a b have two coordinates and that coordinates creates a line and such that a p and p b is in the ratio of three to one so we'll solve this equation we'll discuss this 25 problem number 25 Here we have this 25 number problem. Substitute equation number 1 in equation 2 and we have obtained these two values of x and from this value of x we will substitute it in y to obtain the value of y. So we have obtained b and a as this two points. Since the a is in on the negative side so, so we have write down this particular a point and b now since point a is below x axis as given in the problem so we have taken it a and now we plot this uh, problems here so this is a and this is b and we have a point p on this curve such that a p is 3 and p b is 1 so 
So AP is 3, length 3 and PB has length 1. So PB P is a point on AB such that AP and PB, when we add AP and PB 3, 4, we get the total ratio becomes 4. So let M be the midpoint between A and B. This A and B, we have a midpoint somewhere here. So midpoint we have obtained M that is this point and this x1, y1, x, x2, y, x2, x1 divided by 2, uh, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we have this midpoint and as a result of that midpoint we have 1, 0. So here we have a midpoint between A and B that is M. Now we, if we take another midpoint between M and B, we will get a point P. So that this is twice, we get the point point midpoint between here. So here to here 1, here to here 2, here to here 3. So this is 3 times and this is 1 times. So we will get the mid value as this according to the given information P is the midpoint between M and B. So the, here P is the midpoint between M and B. We can inferred from the information as given in the problem. So the P is M plus B. So this is the value we have obtained. So the, this P value is 2 comma 2 which is somewhere here. 2 comma 2. Somewhere, somewhere here. So this is problem number 24. We have solved it here. Now problem number uh, 20, 26. Uh, we have a line that intersect the curve at two point A and B. This simple line equation intersect the curve at two point A and B. Find the equation of perpendicular bisector of the line A and B. We have to point we have to find an equation that is perpendicular to A and B. So we solve this equation. We have given two uh, equation one is the one is the line equation and the second one is the curve. This is problem number 26. Here we have a line and a curve and the point of intersection are A and B. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to line AB. So we form equation 1. We have x is equal to 2y plus 2 and in place of uh, uh, x we can write 2y plus 2. So in place of x we have write down 2y plus 2. So this becomes this. So we have to factorize it and we factorize as a result of factorization we obtain this. So this y value obtained this and this. From this y value we substitute here and we get the value of x corresponding to that y value. So for y value minus 4 we have x value minus 6. For y value 2 we have x value 6. So this is 6 comma 2 x is written first and y is second x is first and y is second. So these two points uh, coordinates obtained as minus 6 comma minus 4 and 6 comma 2. Now the big point between A and B so we have to find a bisector that is passing through between point A and B so we have to obtain a midpoint so we have mid of point is obtained by x1 x2 divide by 2 y1 y2 divide by 2 so the midpoint is obtained as 0, minus 1. So this is somewhere here. 
So the point A is minus 6, minus 4 and B is 6, comma 2. So the midpoint is here 0, comma minus 1. Yeah. So we have to find an equation this that is perpendicular to this line. So perpendicular means exactly 90 degree. That line is making a 90 degree and passing through here. So, so this A and B are bisecting. So, so the first half is here and the rest half is here. So, so we will get, first we will get the slope. So slope, uh, this kind of problem we solve in chapters 7 or 8. So we are subtracting from y, y2. We take it, y2 is this one and y1 as in this one. So y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. This is x2, y2. This is x1, y1. So from uh, y2, y1 from x2 sorry uh, x2 x1 this is here so we have a slope like this uh, minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 minus 6 so this slope is positive so we can see that as x is increasing, y is increasing, means slope is, is positive. So, slope is positive and this is the slope of this line which is passing through A and B and the line that is bisecting is perpendicular. So, the slope of the perpendicular line will be the reciprocal negative value of this slope. So, it becomes minus 2. So, when we uh, multiply these two slopes or gradients, we get minus 1. So, this is, if this is m1, this is m2. So, the product of the two will be this. So, as a result of this, m1 is half, m2 is the perpendicular line. So, the slope of the perpendicular line will be minus 2. So, in, instead of this, in place, in place of this, we will write m2 here and this line is also passing through these two points so we will use these two points as a in the line as a x1 and y1 so this x1 and y1 will write this y1 is minus 1 and x1 is 0 so this slope is here so we have write it and obtain this equation this kind of problem uh, may be asked in chapter number 7 so, this is a difficult problem here, uh, or, yeah, we can say it, it's a very challenging. So, I uh, hope that uh, the student will learn from these last three problems, the most difficult problem of chapter 2.1, exercise 2.1. So, I hope that uh, the people or student will get 